there and welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by to watch my video today. If you're new here, welcome. Sit back, enjoy the video. Uh, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit the thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, this channel is all about doing some crafting. I do some online uh, tutorials and also going to start throwing some cooking cooking videos in and we'll just see where it goes from here but I did want to get on today I do a lot of crafting I make t-shirts I do all kinds of crafts but I've, I've re recently gotten into doing sublimation printing and a lot of people out there are wanting to get into sublimation printing and one of the best ways to print your sublimation prints is to print from Silhouette Studio and so that's why you see what you see on my screen here. Um, I wanted to jump in here real quick as you know when, when you're just trying to print from Silhouette Studio you're limited if you're doing a print and cut. Um, so you're limited to the size that you can print because it thinks you're printing and cutting. Anyway, I wanted to jump in and show how you go about setting your Silhouette Studio page up to print a larger size. Uh, if, if you're into sublimation, you know that there are several different sizes of paper. Uh, 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, and 13 by 19. So just wanted to get in here for the new folks out there and show them how to set up their page in Silhouette Studio so it will print properly. So as you can see, I've got my Silhouette Studio open. And typically, if you're like me, this is what you see when you get in. You've got your, your mat set up. You've got your grid on. You see your 12 by 12 mat. But that's not going to be what you need to print larger. So what you're going to do, and I do want to just add this disclaimer, that I'm using the business edition of Silhouette Studio. So if you just have the basic edition because you're only using it for your sublimation prints, it's going to look a little bit different, but setting your page up will be the same. So you're going to go to your page setup. In business edition, I've got mine right over here on the top right. Looks like a piece of paper with a corner folded. You're going to click on that. So then that's going to bring up this dialog page and at the top here on the page setup you have three different things. The first one being the page, the second one is your grid, and then the third one is registration marks if you're doing a print and cut. So we're going to be dealing first of all, well actually I'm going to go in here and turn this grid off so that you can see the page better. And if you see right there, that is showing you the print area for an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper because that's what I printed on last. So that's the little gray line there. That's your print area if you're printing on a regular sized piece of paper. So going back to the page setup, what you're going to do is on number one here machine, you're going to click here on the drop down and you're going to choose none for the machine. That's going to allow you to change the paper size down here. So that's what it would look like. <clears throat> so you're going to go on machine, which is number one, you're going to choose none. That's going to automatically change your cutting mat to none. And then you just go down here, highlight all that, and you can change that. I'm going to be printing on a 13 by 19, so I'm going to change it to 13. And I'm going to change this one to 19. And then here on orientation, that's just up to you, depending on what it is you're going to be printing out and how you want it set up on your page. You'll change your orientation from either portrait or landscape and then you can just set it up on your page however you want to. I typically have mine portrait, but I probably won't always have it. It just, like I said, it depends on what you're printing and, and how you're going to use it. You want to come down here and you want to make sure that show print border is on. 
<coughs> excuse me, so that you can actually see the gray part, which is going to show you exactly where you can print. You got to make sure that your design is inside that area. Now the next thing you're going to do once you get your design laid out on your page, you're going to come over here and just because you're seeing this, that's what we're getting ready to change. You're going to come to file, you're going to go to print. You're going to choose your printer from here. I print some things from my Canon. I do my sublimation from my Epson Workforce. You need to make sure that you're picking the right thing because if you see right here, that's Epson Workforce, but that's the fax. So you want to make sure you're actually on the printer and you're going to select that. Then you're going to go to preferences and you're going to click on preferences. And here's where you're going to set up your page and your color optimization. All right. So on your paper source, I don't use auto select. Um, I've got the workforce 7720, so I've got two different trays. Typically, I have my 8.5 by 11 loaded in the top tray all the time, which would be cassette 1. And depending on what I'm printing, whether it's 11 by 17 or 13 by 19, I'll have that paper in cassette number 2. So I always go in there and choose which tray that I want to print from. So since I'm doing 13 by 19, I want cassette 2. I need to tell it what my document size is, and so I'm going to go down here to Super B, which is 13 by 19. And if you have 11 by 17, it's right there, tabloid 11 by 17. So I'm going to click on Super B. I want mine in portrait. I always have mine set on plain paper, bright white paper, color. I don't know why mine always defaults to reverse order, so I uncheck that. And we're going to leave everything else on that screen the same. Then we're going to come up here to more options and click on that. This is where you're just going to double check your document size. So you want to make sure document size is right. Output paper should be same as document. Color correction, automatic or custom. For my type of ink that I use, I go in and do custom. And now this is going to be where you have to refer back to your sublimation ink to decide which setting that you need for your particular ink and that should have come with the instructions with your ink. So I do custom and then click on advanced and for me I get the best color by choosing ICM. I'm not sure what that stands for. I think it stands for internal color management and I think my printer is in charge of that but that's just my thinking. All I know is that that's what gives me the best color according to what color I have on my screen. So I'm going to click OK there. You're going to turn high speed off because if you leave high speed on nine times out of ten you're going to get streaks or lines in your sublimation print when it prints. So you want to have your high speed off. Okay, I'm going to go back to main right there. Make sure that your orientation, and I'm just going over this again because this is typically where I, where I mess up. Make sure your paper orientation is the way that you have your page set up in Silhouette Studio. Nine times out of ten, if I mess up a print, it's because I didn't verify that this was matching what I had over here. Okay, so once you get all that set, you're going to click OK. Then you're going to click Apply. And then you're going to Cancel. And I know that sounds crazy, but watch what happens over here on our Silhouette page when I click Cancel. See that? <clears throat> Now our print border is in the right place for the page that we have set up in Silhouette. 
So you need to make sure that your layout on your page in Silhouette Studio is inside this gray line in your silhouette. Okay? If it's not, if it's, you know, coming down here and then going off this way, you need to go check because it's probably on landscape in your printer settings. Okay? And it will just print what's in that border, what's in that area. Okay? So then you're going to go back up to File. You're going to go to Print. I always go back in and double check. So we're going to make sure that's checked. We're going to go to Preferences. We're going to look and make sure that everything's still right. That the paper source, document size, orientation, everything's right. We're going to go to more options and we're going to make sure that that still says custom and that high speed is off. Click OK and then you can click print and you're ready to print from your Silhouette Studio. You can print 11 by 17, 13 by 19, whatever size it is you need. So I just wanted to do that quick video. I know there are a lot of new people that have been getting sublimation printers for Christmas and in some of the groups I'm in I've seen several questions and people having a hard time getting their page set up right. So just wanted to hop on, do a, a short video and get that up for you and maybe it'll help some folks out out there. So if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for stopping by and watching this video today. Please check back. I'll be uploading videos uh, pretty frequently. I haven't really gotten my schedule down for this year, but I'll be, I'll be posting. Y'all have a good day. Bye now.